that you're familiar with the concept of cryptographic hash functions and we spoke about SHA-256, let's see how it applies into building a block within a blockchain. And we're going to be talking specifically in the context of a Bitcoin blockchain so you understand how this ties into the role of the miners. So the miners are actually in the process of building blocks and these blocks are added to a blockchain to build out what a blockchain, Bitcoin blockchain would be. What you're seeing here is that this block is composed of a block number. It has a field called data. It has a cryptographic hash associated with it. And you have what's called a nonce. And I will explain this in detail now. For the moment, I'd like to point out that this hash has four leading zeros. These four leading zeros will come in handy when I talk to you in the next lesson because it describes when a block is valid or not. For practical purposes, what you will see is that this hash corresponding to this nonce and this block and whatever amount of data is here has four leading zeros. Therefore, it is a valid block. But if I were to make any change here, for example, by adding a single character, you get a completely different hash. As we explained, a cryptographic hash is basically a digest of whatever information you're compressing into that one hash. So when we do a cryptographic hash for this block, including this extra character of an A in it, you're getting a completely different cryptographic hash. And this one no longer has four leading zeros. Therefore, it is not valid. For this purpose, what we need to do is figure out a way to make this block work. And the way we will do that is by using this field called a nonce. Nonce stands for a number used once. And it's basically a random number that is used for figuring out how you can actually make this specific block give you a valid hash. In this case, having four, four zeros at the beginning. So the way that you could do this is you could do it manually. You could have one. Well, that gives you a different hash, but that doesn't work. Let's try a different one. That doesn't work either. Let's try three. Nope. You could go on here, on and on and on, or what you could do is mine it. And in this case, what you're doing is you're putting a computer to actually figure out what is the correct nonce that will give you a hash that will have those four zeros at the beginning. And we found it. It would be 71,850. Now, what's interesting about this whole process is that if you were to change anything in this, for example, try a different block number, you would have a completely different cryptographic hash. So it would not work. You always would have to get this combination to be able to get those four leading zeros so you get the correct appropriate hash for it. But if you did any changes to it, you would again get a completely different cryptographic hash and the block would no longer be valid. So that is where the whole concept of how cryptography ties into assembling a block and making sure that a block is valid within a blockchain. I will explain further in the following lesson.